it's there we go. Uh, let me let me just double check my page to see if it's up there, and, and I'll be back here. Hey, thanks by the by the way. Before we get started, I, I appreciate you doing this, man. I really, it's, 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 it's really not a big deal at all. Don't don't worry about it. It's, uh, I I enjoy talking about it. It's it's my job, so it's uh it's fun. Very cool. Well, hey, um, let's let's get into it. Actually, you know, I see it's it's working okay. So, let's get into it. Um, you know, we are about what are we four days away from the first uh, first match uh, with with the Bucks. Um, what are you guys? What how are you guys doing? How are your guys doing right now as far as uh, you know, uh, getting ready and, and preparing for uh, the big matchup? Well, you know, um, guys got to market in in early March, so Ooh. it's been almost two months now, and so they they've um, we've been practicing almost every single day since then. So I think that you know we're happy now to finally like see the light at the end of the tunnel. The season's right. finally starting. Um, right. you know, there for several weeks, it's it's hard to stay stay in like a practice setting that's super, super, you know, effective when we don't know what's happening in a month right. or even a week. Um, and so I think, yeah, just knowing that, that this is like finally here, I think that we've kind of all um, got a big surge of energy and we're really excited and just ready for the season. But yeah, I think that overall we're doing pretty well. well. Let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, clearly uh, later on, we're going to talk about coronavirus and how that, how that's kind of affected. But <clears throat> as of right now, uh, the NBA 2K league, basically has a, a plan for six weeks of remote play, but that's just the start, right? That's, there's like a, what, what's it like kind of with the uncertainty? Cause that it could go on all season or it could be just those six weeks. And what's that like? Well, yeah, I mean, there, I think that's a bit optimistic uh, personally mm -hmm. um, that, that we're hoping for just six weeks. I think that the league is doing their due diligence though, of like, you know, making sure that they're prepared just in case something were to happen and this crisis is kind of behind us, um, mm -hmm. and, you know, still making sure they can utilize their studio space, which obviously they spent money on and, and this is gorgeous now. And um, you know, things like that. So it, it's a bit on a bit of uncertainty, but ultimately, you know, like we know who we play in the next, you know, we know, we, we know our next eight games, like we know the task at hand. So I think that we're all kind of just focused in on right now, Bucks gaming, and then obviously uh, turning around and we have the game of the week Friday night against, against the Wizards. So, you know, we're trying to just keep it, you know, one day at a time, focus on what we can and, and just improve as much as we can until then. Talk about your squad a little bit. We've, we've mentioned this a little bit that, you know, this is um, when you, when you, you know, throw away all the, all the other, other stuff, when it comes down to the actual uh, gameplay and actual season, you guys just missed it last year, just missed the postseason last year. Uh, and then you had a what what I think uh, we've talked about this before that you consider a pretty successful draft. Um, you know, how, how how are you guys are you guys right now hyped right now? I mean, as, about the 2020 season. Obviously, everyone is. But I mean, like, it seems like you guys have a real, um, real chance of you know, finally make the postseason see, and kind of see what happens from there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we're optimistic heading in. Um, I think that we, you know, we know we have big game players uh, on this team, and that's something that that's really I think important uh, in this league is to just know that you know you know the guy next to you is going to be able to show up when it really really matters. Um, so we're we're definitely excited. I, I think that we think we can be pretty good. I think that we've from scrimmages we've seen how high our ceiling can be. So you know, um, but the the difference between this group and you know, for example, last year's group is I don't think expectations were super high last year. I think that we right. went in knowing that we had a couple projects to work on. You know, Reezy was obviously moving to point guard for the first time in his two yeah. K career, things like that. And so we just we were focused on getting better, becoming you know, be playing together as much as anything. And then this year, it's more like, hey, we have high expectations for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have to meet you know all the way up here. We have to be a playoff team. Is kind of the the narrative from the guys, and you know, it's. It, you know, it's important to stay on task, you know, like we, you don't get there easily. You know, I always say, and the guys probably hate me to hear all the Jonah-isms I drop every day, but um, it's like, you know, we lay a brick and then the next day we try to lay another brick and then eventually we'll have a house. And right. you know, until then, you know, we have to keep working. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's important context, I think, to understand, like at the start of last year's season, we weren't very good. Mm -hmm. And yet we still like made the semifinals a tip off. We still were able to survive until we kept improving every single day. And then eventually by the end of the season, we actually were amongst the elite in the league as one of the more polished teams. So, um, you know, that's kind of the the trajectory of our season. I like to think that, you know, maybe we can, hopefully we can start up here and then still go high. But um, I was going to say, I mean, that, that's um, what that's, you know, you talk about the starting off kind of, uh, kind of, kind of slow. I mean, these these six weeks, I mean, regardless of what you do, they count <laughs> regardless of the environment. Right. I mean, talk about that, making sure that you do start off strong and not, not end up like, you know, like last year, kind of digging, digging a hole. 
and even season one, that's kind of what happened with Magic Gaming too. Is you know they they started off slow and just couldn't couldn't come back from it. Um, you know, I, it's definitely a focal point for us. I think no matter what, that, you know, we're trying to start off strong. I think, but it, it was certainly last year, and you know, we had a couple unlucky games. Obviously, the Cavs game had a little. I mark a little asterisk next next to it a little bit, and um, you know, things like that. So it's 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 really tough, man. But I think that in general, the the best of three uh, series is coming now, and. Um, obviously, with with just remote play, that's what they're they're doing, and I think that helps us for sure. It's mm -hmm. you know, obviously in a best of three, you're going to more likely get the the better team as the as the winner, and so I think that more often than not, I'd like to think we're going to be the better team. Uh, hopefully, that's kind of the plan. So I think that we're we're optimistic about things like that and being able mm -hmm. to you know adapt mid series or you know uh, I, I feel like my job is actually the the role has gotten a little bigger with with the things like best of three. Well, let's talk about coronavirus a little bit. Um, clearly, there's a pandemic going on we're all we're all uh, trying to be safe and and, and uh, you know certainly don't want anyone to, to be harmed by by what's going on um you know but when it comes to to you know developing a team chemistry you know and and, and uh you know doing things together and make, making sure these, these these guys kind of get along um two two questions number one how important is it that people actually knew profusion you know and people knew these these guys before beforehand um and number two how do you kind of try to build that 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 chemistry in this really uh, unique and, and, and uh, unprecedented environment. Yeah. So um, I think that no matter, like for sure in the off season, one of our goals was to get people that, that, that the team felt comfortable with. Um, and that, that was mainly based off of, I think that, you know, last year when we drafted, um, you know, not a lot of people even knew who King Cam Royalty or UC Manny was in the in the pro-am community. Um, I, I mean, I don't mean to discredit those guys because they're both exceptional players and obviously played in the league for two years. They're both, ex you know, extraordinary players. And um, I say all the time that if we had a seventh roster spot, King Cam would be on a roster right now. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of one of those things. So uh, super close. And I don't think people realize that. But, um, you know, so. But, you know, I think that there just were question marks about who are these guys? You know, do they care? Do they play a lot in offseason? Probably not as much as others and and things like that. So we just wanted to get guys that we really, really felt uh, were committed and also that we were comfortable with. And so obviously Perfusion and DJ Bama were two guys that we both knew very well. Um, obviously Toxic has a relationship prior with Perfusion. And they're really, really close friends. And so it, it makes it easy um, to transition to just to just forming a team. You know, you don't have that like – the storming phase uh, in the in the team for formation thing, you know, you know, we're not all button heads as much because we just know each other. It's 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 normal. Um, but yeah, the second part of your question, I think that you know the lucky the, the odd thing about esports, right? But it's lucky for things right now is the guys live together, right? So mm -hmm. like they're they're kind of experiencing all this together, and so naturally they're kind of brought together. I think by it, mm -hmm. like they're all facing the same challenges of like, hey man, like. I don't want to eat taquitos every single meal. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to, to tropical smoothie or whatever up the street, yeah. stuff like that. Like they, they kind of just like come together and are kind of forced to in a way that maybe wouldn't have happened if this didn't uh, come along. So that's kind uh, of bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> what's that? It's kind of bizarre. Not not bizarre. Maybe it's the wrong word, but I mean, it's kind of uh, unexpected, I guess. Silver linings, man. Right. Um, I mean, I don't think it would have been an issue for us anyway. I think that we just have a group that just gets along a little bit. And obviously we butt heads on the court a little. Uh, we're all very ultra competitive, I would say. But um, off the court, it's all it's all fun. Well, if you saw the the Michael Jordan documentary, I mean, you, <laughs> you know, that that's, that's pretty normal. Absolutely. That's competitive. competition. That's what com that's what competitors should do. You should push each other to become better. I, I definitely agree. How do you um, you know, this is to me, this, it, it's, it's been amazing to watch this league kind of start from zero just a few years ago um what would how would you assess kind of how the first two years went where are some places where there could be some improvements still 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 made and i and i expect some of those will be rolled out this year um and where are some places that you think they just nailed up from the beginning <clears throat> yeah so i would say like the first thing that they they did right was like this the whole idea of the centralized studio and like focusing on broadcast quality and things like that i think has, has been awesome um and the broadcast especially between season one and season two i think took a big leap and i expect it to continue to get better especially when we're done with remote gameplay if, if we are ever but even okay. if, even if it's next year um you know i do expect it to continue to improve as well and um you know i, I would say we're we're kind of where i i would 
where I expected us to be after two seasons. Um, you know, we're not to a point where I think that everyone's like thrilled with how the league is doing and we're content. And I think everyone wants this thing to grow further. Um, I think that, you know, obviously we have a huge, massive opportunity right now with what's kind of gone, gone on in the world. I think that there are just eyeballs that are craving some th- sort of sports, whether it is esports. you know, I think that, you know, speaking yesterday about this is that, you know, the beauty of what we do is, is, you can just not care about esports, not even know what NBA 2K is, and understand what our game is and how it's played. And you can't do that with League of Legends. You know, I play a lot of League of Legends myself, so I love watching League of Legends. And when my buddies watch it, they say, "What in the world are you watching? Like, I don't know what is going on." What the hell's going on? No, I yeah, exactly. Yeah. And when you watch Overwatch, it's a bit of the same. Like, so it's it's easy to understand NBA 2K and. And so, you know, if we're able to get this in front of eyeballs that, you know, are, are interested and, you know, and I don't mean to bring this up, but I think it's relevant um, is, you know, s- sports betting right now. And you know, esports betting is is growing. That industry is growing. And I think that the NBA 2K League, I'm going to guess, is going to take some wagers um, That's crazy. In, in this in this season. And I think that, you know, people are in sports books, especially are going to be happy to see it uh, come around. I think I think you make an interesting point. And, you know, I, I won't go too far down this road, but I think you make an interesting point that, Really, um, as this this league matures, you see a lot of similarities between it and the other leagues. Uh, I mean, this is this is no. I mean, I don't know. Like at the beginning, there was a stigma, of course, right? And th- I think that's there's still it's still out there for for the most part. But you're also you're starting to see, like you just said, sports books are starting to like take it seriously, right? And and if they feel like um, you get the good and the bad, right, with every league that, that's out there. And, and I don't want to say that it was never legitimate, but it almost leg- legitimizes it more now that these these things are kind of rolling out. And that sounds really bad because I'm not like, I'm not like uh, uh, condoning it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're certainly not encouraging gambling on the games. I just yeah. I just acknowledging that it's it's a market that needs, you know, needs action right now. And it's something that, you know, is going to come around. People are going to be interested in. Um, talk to me a little bit about just uh, the the season. You know, starts uh, what? Like I said, Wednesday. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to go? I mean, are you, how close are you? I mean, give me a sense of the vibe of the team. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that we feel ready. Um, I think that personally, I would say that we've grown more in the last two weeks of practice than I think we did in the last month and a half prior to that. Um, so I think that we're, you know, we're, I don't want to say like we're hitting our stride because I don't think that this is our, our peak yet. But I do think that we're, you, we've kind of, you know, finally finished the plateau a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, you know, for, for weeks, you can be so stagnant. What's that? That's good timing for that plateau. Uh, absolutely. And it's kind of a natural progression, I think. Like, we're finally see the goal. I think it's a bit of that. And so I would say we're definitely ready. Um, there's no question we're ready. It's just about, you know, now we're just focusing on specific preparation for the Bucks gaming team. And, you know, obviously they have a, a point guard they drafted in the first round, Reg, who was a, a huge, uh, you know, steal. at th- I believe they picked at 13 and or 12. And it's like, you know, they got they got their guy they wanted and they have a good roster, a, a complete roster and good good guys they retained from last season. So it's going to be a good game. They're a good team. So um, we're all just focused on the Bucks, And I think that, you know, we're, we're optimistic about our chances, though. I think that we feel like that's a team we can be. Let's let's step back for a little bit um, and just kind of. So talk to me. This is my, this is my own uh, personal uh, uh, curiosity. Now, what is it like to kind of be a part of this um, this new world of of you know getting paid to play video games, getting paid to coach coach others to play video games? What's that like to be part of that? Um, and I mean, this is obviously a new world that we couldn't have done ten years ago. Yeah, you know, um, if you had said to me that like when when you know I was a college senior working part time at Best Buy studying business, and I was like just a gamer, I played 2K a lot, and then this league comes around, and like a few months later, I'm employed by an NBA organization. Like it, it's all been crazy, and so I would say it's definitely like a dream come true to be a part of this. I was massively into esports before all this. I was a huge, big, huge League of Legends fan play the game at a high level as well. And as well as NBA 2K at a high level for a long time. And, um, you know, I follow all those scenes and it's like, finally I get to be a part of it. And I had so much knowledge about how esports worked just mm-hmm. from being such a massive fan of it. And also then, you know, I'm able to like the, the beauty of what I do, especially as head coach is that, you know, it's not just like I'm playing the game all the time too, is I get this business experience as well, working on the business side of magic gaming. And that's where my interest is truly is, I think, is as much as the head coaching is like I wanted to be able to to kind of 
go down both avenues a little bit. It's actually been a, a complete dream come true. And obviously season one did not go as, as I had hoped with the Dallas Mavericks, but the Orlando Magic gave me a second chance here. And I'm forever grateful for it because I think that we've we've grown a lot since I've been here. The organization has Magic Gaming. Um, and I think that we're, we're, you know, poised to have a good season this year. And I'm looking forward to it. How, how big is – let's get into that. How big is that year – is this year for you guys? Uh, you know, we already talked a little bit about expectations. Um, but, you know, year one, even even the overall organization, is like year one, let's see what happens. Year two, you kind of hope to, 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 to fix some things. And, like, year three, it's almost like, okay, let's do this. I mean, what, what's that like? Yeah, I mean, like I said, man, we're, we're laying a brick every day. So, like, even if it's season one, like, you know, we're, we we – have grown a lot. Obviously we don't have a single player from our roster from season one still, mm-hmm. um, which were one of, I believe two teams in the, that were in season one that don't have a single player from season one. So we've completely reloaded, um, you know, after season two and season three. So, um, you know, it, I think there's no question there, there's a little pressure on us. I think that, you know, I think there are expectations that are high. I think a lot of people expect us to be a good team and know that we have the talent to be good. Um, and so obviously, you know, I don't want to like set crazy expectations. We're on remote play. At the end of the day, you know, we're still playing from our apartments. Um, yeah. you know, we have guys that I know would flourish on stage, and we aren't able to have that opportunity right now, and that's okay. We're going to roll with the punches and, and control what we can. But um, you know, I would say that you know we are taking it incredibly serious how what our results are this year. I think that we all really, really want to succeed, and kind of are sick of just being like the little brother of the league a right. little bit. And like you know, I think that even on the broadcast, you know, at the end of last season, we were an exceptionally good team. I think you know, obviously we made the semifinals of the ticket, but not only that, we 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 traded for Toxic. We we beat off a lot of the league's best teams. You know, we knocked off the Mavs, we knocked off the 76ers, You know, several teams that were very good at the time, and so. Um, you know, we aren't just some team that, you know, is like, oh, they're all right. You know, they may, you know, you know we can kind of sleep on them. We'll be fine. It's like, we should be a team you have to prepare for heavily now and a team that's going to challenge you in every way. And so that's kind of our goal is to make sure that, you know, you know, we change that narrative around Magic Game. Yeah. We aren't just this team that's in the league to be in the league. We are definitely not. We are here to compete and, and we're going to show out a little bit this season. Well, I'm excited to see it. I mean, I'm looking forward to, to the matchups. And uh, let me let me ask you one last question before I let you go. Uh, sure. and I don't appreciate you you doing this, but the the the, the environment, right? I, I was there at Full Sail last year when you were you hosted a uh, or, or the Magic uh, hosted uh, the, that event, right? Um, and it was so electric, right? It was so like it was crazy. Like the, the 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 crowd was into it. The players are were sitting face to face. I mean, they, you know, kind of talking smack, and that's kind of a big part of that in this, mm-hmm. this league, which is cool. Um, but uh, I, is it going to be tough to kind of uh, keep that energy up? You know what I mean? Like, can you talk to me about that? Yeah. So um, I don't know that I, I would say it's going to be too tough to keep energy up. I think that like we have a team that's so competitive. I think mm-hmm. that like if you if you like truly met and sat down with DT and saw him practice that you understand how competitive our team is. And so I think that, like, I have no question that, like, on Wednesday, the guys are going to wake up and they're going to be hungry and they're going to, like, have the butterflies in their belly a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're going to finally feel that feeling they've been searching for for the last year uh, yeah. because, you know, we've been waiting and waiting now. So, um, you know, I, I think that we have a chip on our shoulder for sure. Um, so I don't think that it's going to be maybe a lack of energy at all. I know that the world is in kind of this standstill and it can feel that <laughs> way. And, um but I think that we've done a really good job of making sure these guys stay focused on the task at hand. And I think that we're, we're as poised and, and prepared as any team is going to be starting the season. Obviously there's going to be some inconsistencies. Uh, we're still a, a team that's growing and you know, we're still in a league that's, you know, using remote play and having these issues that are, are coming up and, you know, unique challenges along the way and that's okay. Um, but I do think that we're going to be a team that's going to at least have energy. I, I think we're going to play together. We're going to have energy and we're going to, we're going to show at least why you have to, you have to recognize we're, we're a good team in this league. The only difference is Brandon will have to scream at a wall instead of screaming at his opponent. So. <laughs> Into the headset, yeah. Like, like he'll, he'll trash talk on Twitter instead. Hey, man, John, thanks so much. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me on this. And, uh, you know, we'll see how this uh, – I mean, it was a good conversation. I, I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, good luck to you guys. And, yeah, I'll, I'll be checking in periodically. So I, I appreciate you t- taking time uh, doing this, on, especially on a Saturday. So uh, take care, man. Yeah, right on. Thank you. All right.